Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to start a new series off. What I'm going to do is pick a game topic or genre and we'll look at the best engines for developing that kind of game. So for example, we're going to start today with two game types, visual novels and adventure games. So if you want to create adventure games or you want to create visual novels, today we're going to look at some of the best options out there. I'm going to start things off with visual novels. Now you may scoff at visual novels, but they are some of the best selling things on Steam right now and there are two major tools used to create them. And the first one common in the West is RenPy. Now I've done a video on RenPy in the past. Uh, the Pi in the name kind of gives part of it away. It, it is a Python based system and tool for creating visual novels. One of the nice things about visual novels is you don't need to have a lot of programming skills to make it work. Um, you can simply um, you know, have an artist do most of the drawing work and you just need to kind of script the game and the content itself. So you need a writer, uh, but you probably can get by without a programmer. Uh, RenPy is pretty straightforward. You just got to know the basics of Python programming and you are good to go. Uh, now in the East, one of the more popular things, and there's very little of this uh, in the West, is a system called KiriKiri. There was KiriKiri, uh, which also known as the Kiri Advanced Game Engine or CAG3. Uh, now there's KiriKiriZ. Now as you can tell by the fact that I'm running this through Google Translate, it's Japanese software used to create, again, four or five of the best selling titles on Steam in 2021. Uh, however, Japanese program, if you don't speak Japanese or read Japanese, you're probably not going to want to use it. You'd probably be better off using RenPy. Next up, we have Visual Novel Maker. Now this is from RPG Maker. Um, Oh, what was the platforming one? Uh, Pixel Game Maker. Uh, Visual Novel Maker is the same thing in that line. It's probably got the best tooling of everything we've looked at so far. Uh, it's got a visual programming language for working with it. Um, the software, the company behind it is polarizing. Some people can't stand them. Some people love them. Uh, Degica Games or Degica Games. Uh, but it, it is one of the more uh, visual options out there. This is commercial software, however, and the two we've already looked at are not. Those are both free. Uh, so if you're willing to pay some money for a slightly more polished tool, Visual Novel Maker is an option. Uh, it's on Steam, and it's pretty consistently put on sale for a pretty good price if you are interested in it. Um, next up, we have Cloud Novel. Now, this one is very limited. This one is more um, a hosting service and novel creation tool. So you're not going to be able to create games for Steam, I don't believe. Uh, it is all hosted on their cloud site, uh, but it is a full set of tools for creating visual novels. Um, yeah. And then we come into the Unity game engine. If you want to use Unity to create um, visual novels, there's a number of tools out there for it. There's also a number of tools for uh, game adventure games. I'm not going to come back to that later on, but just do keep in mind, there are a number of adventure game specific assets for the Unity game engine. Uh, but in terms of for visual novels, you can see we got visual novel tool. We got a couple that are actually featured uh, in the ongoing lightning deals. So for example, we have uh, Nanny Novel, Visual Novel Engine, and Panoply split uh, comics and split screen for U Unity. Uh, so those are two options there. However, if you want to start at the free tier, uh, there's actually a completely free tool in here to check out that I have zero experience with, but there's Hero Kit Game Maker right here. And then there is another one. Where is it? It's got a very straightforward... Visual Novel Creator, VN Creator. So there are some free add-ons for Unity for creating visual novels as well. On the topic of game engines, uh, if you go to Unreal Engine and you go to free and the permanently free collection, one of the recently added items was the Visual Novel Framework. Uh, so provides visual novel system choices, conditional branching, and so on for the Unreal 4.x game engine. So if you're using Unreal Engine for your development, there is a framework to make visual novels available out there as well, entirely blueprint driven in that scenario. And one last extension for game engines, uh, we have uh, Rakugo. It's inspired by RenPy, uh, but this is basically for creating narrative games in the Godot game engine. Features like save and load, functions, objects, and vars like in RenPy, dialogue system, ability to roll back, and so on. I've also done uh, a couple of posts about dialogue systems recently, uh, Dialogic and uh, Godot Dialogue Manager. Uh, don't give you the, the full set of tool suites, but if you're looking to create um, visual novel style games or potentially point and click style games, uh, Rakugo for um, the Godot game engine could be one to check out. I've never looked at it, to be honest. I may cover it uh, at some point in the future. Let me know if you're interested in such coverage. Uh, and then we're kind of getting more into the point and click uh, adventure game style, but basically everything that a point and click adventure does 
potentially overlaps with the visual novel in a way. So you could create a visual novel by ignoring some of the functionality. But if you know the old school games like uh, Manic Mansion, um, Monkey Island, and so on, uh, that is the traditional adventure game format. One option out there, I covered this a long time ago, uh, is the Blade Coder, uh, the Blade Coder Adventure Engine. A really neat project built on top of um, LibGDX, actually. Um, and it actually has been used to create uh, games that, that have been published up to uh, the game stores, the commercial games, and one's actually in the um, Google Pass uh, right now. So if you're interested in creating uh, adventure point-and-click style games, Adventure Game Engine, uh, or sorry, Blade Coder Adventure Engine is definitely an interesting project to check out. Uh, it is open source. It's still being developed, as you can see from the most recent commit being 20 days ago. It's under the Apache 2 license. Uh, so the last release was in December. Again, I did a video of this one in the past. Definitely an interesting one to check out if you're looking to create point-and-click style adventures. Uh, and if you've worked with LibGDX, you can use um, Java basically as the extension language if you wish. Another one, people have actually recommended me to check this out in the past. I've never really looked at it. Part of it is because their site is so uh, GeoCities-esque. Um, but uh, it's a popular enough tool. It's Adventure Game Studio. I have literally zero experience with this one. Uh, from looking at the videos, it does look very similar in scope to what uh, Blade Coder provides. So if you're interested in checking that out, it's an interesting one for sure. Um, next up, we have Oscur Ascoria. This looks like a U, by the way, in the logo, but Ascoria. Uh, this is a dedicated point-and-click adventure game engine add-on for the Godot game engine. Uh, so there's some demo games you can check out there. But the core is available here. Uh, so this is a specific tool about creating adventure games inside of the Godot game engine. As you can see, uh, there was literally a release uh, five days ago. So it's definitely very much under development. But you'll also notice it also says uh, V4 Alpha. So it looks like they've got, they're moving on to Godot 4 support, which is kind of cool. Um, but this is MIT license. I have no actual experience with Escoria. Another one I may cover in the future if there's some interest. Let me know if you're interested in that as well. And then finally, uh, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention Scum. Uh, Scum is the virtual machine underlying some of the most popular point and click games ever uh, from like LucasArts, Sierra, uh, and so on. Um, it powered titles such as Monkey Island, Broken Sword, Mist, Blade Runner, and so on. Um, there are virtual machines out there for running Scum style games. There's also uh, like Scum C and some Scum uh, development stuff out there. It's just all starting to get pretty old and pretty clunky. Uh, so Scum making a Scum VM game may not be your best approach, but again, Scum VM is the underlying virtual machine behind almost every point-and-click adventure game you've ever heard of. Um, so I, I had to tell you for sure, uh, but do be aware of that. Also, what's this? Hypno. I didn't even notice this until today. Uh, Hypno is the internal name of the game engine used by Hypnotics for their... Oh, okay, never mind. It seems to be another scum-based thing. Uh, so definitely scum is an option out there, and there are open-source tool chains such as Scum C for creating and compiling down to scum games. Uh, but... Again, more for historical interest than actual uh, as a recommendation if you want to create a point-and-click adventure game. And then we're getting into two last suggestions. These aren't really um, adventure games or visual novels or anything, but if you wanted to roll your own engine, which is very much an option here, or you want to incorporate it into, um, say, like the Fold engine or um, Game Maker or your own custom SDL or SFML or something C-based game, or... Um, you know, again, you want to implement this into your game engine of choice, which is probably already bindings for it out there. There are two options out there for interactive storytelling in an embedded manner. So you use this to create your story, it publishes out, and then you implement a runtime in your engine of choice. I've covered this one in a video in the past. It is called Twine. Uh, there's also spinoffs such as Yarn. They're basically interactive fiction engines, uh, but this one is specific in the fact that you can um, then take these intricate story so as you see flowing like this and you can do a runtime in your own engine of choice so you can use something like this uh, for authoring your um, so that's twine you can use something like twine for authoring uh, your games of choice uh, or another option out there is ink this is specifically a scripting language for narratives so you can see uh, it's basically a markup language for uh, 
going in different directions and so on. Actually won an Epic Mega Grant in the past. Again, you can create using ink and you can embed ink in your, um, so you're exporting it out as say JSON uh, and then you integrate it into your engine of choice. For example, Unity integration already exists for ink. Um, I am assuming there's Unreal Engine somewhere as well since it has a weird, <laughs> okay, no Unreal Engine, even though it won an Epic Mega Grant, uh, but you see here there's open source Unity integration as well as uh, Ink and Inky. Uh, so if you want to implement the Ink uh, created uh, dialogues and so on into your own game, uh, you can use Ink as the authoring environment or the scripting language for uh, branching dialogues in your game as well. So those last two options are more for if you're going to roll your own or if you're more interested in conversation systems. Again, also on the conversation system side, there are a number of systems for both Unity and Unreal Engine, plus we've covered uh, Dialogic and um, Godot Dialog Manager recently for the Godot game engine. Lots of options out there for if you just wanna have conversations in your game and you wanna roll everything else yourself. But anyways, that was it. That was a list of tools for creating uh, both visual novels and adventure games. Let me know if you wanna see the same kind of treatment for say, uh, role-playing games, um, online games, uh, platforming style games, shoot 'em up, so on and so forth. And if you're interested in this kind of continuing as a series, let me know in the comments down below uh, and also give me your recommendations. And did I miss anything in terms of uh, visual novel creation tools or adventure game creation tools that you would highly recommend? Share them in the comments down below and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.